The distrust in science is quite closely linked to distrust in government, and that's one of the reasons this is such a difficult issue, because of course, sometimes we're right to distrust our government. Uh, and a lot of science in the modern world is tied to government. Uh, in the United States, in the United Kingdom, in many parts of Europe and in China, the vast majority of science is funded through the public purse, through government. So people are right to ask questions. It's never wrong to ask a question, but it is wrong to refuse to accept the answer. And the scientific community has done so much work to demonstrate the reality of climate change, the efficacy of masks, the safety of most vaccines. So, so why do we still have this gap? And one of the reasons we have the gap is because scientists have not done enough to talk to people, to get out of their laboratories, to get out of uh, their ivory towers, and to, to be there with people to talk about our work and to answer people's questions. We have to do more work to explain to people not just what we know, but how we know it. The amount of money that goes into disinformation is massively greater than the amount of money that goes into explaining information. So I do think that scientific institutions have to recognize that you have to put some money into this. Who else is doing this? And then you realize, first of all, no one else is doing it and no one else really can because scientists have to explain science because we're the ones who understand it.